What's up, Sasspreneurs? It's Javi. I'm going to kind of show you a quick tour of my demo account inside of my Go High Level SaaS and basically how I position my demo account to show any potential SaaS users because people can book a demo on our SaaS website and how I kind of populate it so it's understandable. Of course, if you have if you don't have any sandbox uh, locations, um, I highly recommend you create one. It's going to make your life easier instead of demoing with live accounts or accounts that are empty. Uh, this is going to help you guys uh, basically show off the features uh, in a much better fashion. Of course, we're not in a specific industry. We actually have clients from all sorts of industries. Uh, of course, there are challenges to that. Um, so I made my demo account as broad as I could. So basically something a gym owner or a lawyer or a mortgage loan officer could all sort of understand and, and digest the features based on what I'm about to show you. So uh, without further ado, the first thing I have is I've already connected and pre-populated a couple conversations in here uh, from different channels. For example, you see some Instagram, some uh, texts that came in, some calls, emails, um, and so, so on and so forth. Um, usually, um, I can filter through, through here, of course, right? We can look at Facebook and I can pull up some Facebook conversations and I can basically tell them this is going to be your omni-channel conversations inbox. All of your lead and customer activity and conversations are going to basically be here. So this kind of hypes them up um, because this is pretty cool. There's not many SaaS platforms out there that, that do that. I think Bling Cloud is the only one that kind of comes to mind. Um, so this is super useful, especially if they see different channels uh, in the unread. Um, yeah, so it's a it's a big wow factor for that. The second thing is uh, if they care about calendars and we start talking about, you know, if they use something like Calendly or Acuity, uh, I tend to have a sample booking calendar here. And this sample booking calendar, uh, again, is super generic. It's just something I, I, I can just copy the scheduling link and kind of show them exactly uh, what it does and how their customers are going to be able to basically book um, a, a appointment on their calendar and how they can embed the calendar, how they can send it to their customers as a link, how they can uh, add it to any of the funnels. And speaking of funnels, I also do basically, uh, we have a lot of our own funnels that we've created uh, industry specific. And of course we do have a lot of the high level templates in here. So I kind of show them the funnel template library. I, I don't really show the templates in the go high level pop-up because of course they don't get access to that. That's something only agency admins have access to. But uh, over here, you know, I kind of show them some of the actual um, funnels inside of the snapshot that we give them, which again is, is not industry specific, it's pretty broad. Uh, and then uh, of course we have our own resource center here where we, have invested a lot of money, a lot of time to build our own resources because we do have a custom UI. We have uh, additional features. We have something called Uphex. We built our own open AI, AI helper, uh, which is for sale on sasprinter.com if you want to check out, if you want to check that out, shameless plug. Um, but yeah, we basically, I built this in the funnel builder. Uh, they get access to the course. So I go ahead and sign them up for, for our fast track course, even if they're not, even if they're, they're not a user yet. So I can at least get them in my nurture sequence. Um, but I usually do that on the demos and I kind of I kind of walk them through this. Uh, I have my help library, of course, powered by HL Pro Tools. And, um, you know, usually when you click on it, it pops up. There we go. And uh, I tell them obviously 24 seven live chat. That'll pop up right there. You're probably familiar with that. HL Pro Tools, shout out, Matt. Um, we have, again, Upex, our AI helper here. Uh, which usually, um, my, of course, my high level is being slow. Yeah, I'll walk them through my AI tool here, uh, which, which is for sale if you guys want it for your uh, HL uh, SaaS mode. It's um, at whitelabelgpt3.com. But basically, I'll generate a sell script for them. So if they want, uh, let's just think of something here. Uh, let's do Joe's tequila or something. We don't have any tequila users, but let me think. Uh, we sell tequila that is spicy and uh i don't know i'll generate like a sales email script for them or uh you know some type of website copy and this pretty much woos them usually um because i i can uh copy what it's going to give me here in just a minute 
yeah, I'll, I'll pretty much copy here and I'll either email it to them. You know, here's your complimentary sales email script. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of basically uh, try to get them engaged with the platform, even if they're not signed up yet. So yeah, that's how we do it. So again, we do have, I, I do go over the snapshot as well, because oftentimes people who sign up for our live demos already have questions about what plug and play templates we have. They may even be familiar with high level. We have a lot of people like that who just want us to basically onboard them and they don't care about reselling and going into the SaaS business model. They're just business owners who like high level They and, and they want to work with the provider. So kind of go over this with them, all the, uh, all our, uh, our proprietary, right? Snapshots that I give them. Um, I go over, uh, oh yeah, the pipeline one. Again, this is to basically so they can handle more growth. I have some sample opportunities in here. Uh, and usually I text them through the conversations as well. I shoot them a text, uh, or we test out one of the workflows, like the keyword automation ones, text lead drag into this number and how they can use that to send texts. So that's pretty much uh, what our demo sample sandbox account uh, has. Highly recommend you build one out. So on your demos, you're locked and ready to go. Now, we, I mean, if you do, if you do have uh, some awesome clients that are okay or comfortable uh, uh, with you showing their location, um, I highly suggest you check out pimpmyghl.com. Uh, James Rivers over there uh, hooked us up with a privacy mode which when that's clicked, I can basically go into other people's accounts and I don't have to worry about, you know, privacy issues and stuff like that. And especially good because I can say, oh yeah, here's another gem user and I can pull up their account, hide the privacy and show them a big fat pipeline full of opportunities. So that's another cool thing about that. So awesome. So short video, just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you found this somewhat helpful. If so, uh, like, and subscribe. Uh, we're gonna start making more YouTube videos. Um, to, uh, check out our sasspreneur.com website uh, if you have any questions. Um, but yeah, awesome. See you guys later.